welcome to the very first episode of the Northwest Mic Check, brought to you by the number one music channel up north, TNTV, hosted by myself, Precious. Now we've got a very special first episode for you today. Before we get into that, let me tell you why we've actually created the series. Now we've done this to give you, the viewers, a chance to get to know your favourite artists, DJs and producers on a more personal level, get to know the person behind the music and the camera. Now, for the first episode, we're kicking it off with a young rising star in the PR scene. He's definitely a known and respected name amongst the newer generation in the Northwest. Let me introduce Lates and how he's making an impact on the music scene. Big up Lates. Yes, bro. Respect for coming through, man. So good, man. Appreciate it. So we'll jump straight in with the questions. So I know you're only 16, but mm. how long have you actually been rapping for and what inspired you to start rapping at such a young age? So I started writing like four years ago or something like that anyway. Just started me, K5, Figures, I2K and them. Just chatting shit like, just fucking about, innit? I can't yeah, even yeah. remember what I was rapping about, but anyway, just carried on. Hit the studio one time, dropped some, then it just started picking up. And then me and Figures, we did one song that like got a bit Trap more buzz, out. a bit more buzz than the rest. And then the rest is just, yeah, man. The rest is what everyone's seen. Yeah, man, respect for that, respect for that. You know, shout out to all the mandem as well. Because mm -hmm. most times they're your biggest supporters, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's all about the team and that. So we'll jump straight to the second question. Mm -hmm. So who would you say are your three biggest influences when it comes to music? Now, it could be someone from your everyday life or another musician. Bro, with like, when I'm writing and that, there's not really much people, but people that I listen to, like Potter and Nines and that, and just people like them, innit? Like the real rappers and yeah. shit. Nah, I, can't, I get so, that yeah. and I can relate to that myself. People yeah. that you can relate to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, real rap, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so, can you share with us your most memorable or your favourite time as a rapper so far? Seeing fans and like being on stage and just, yeah, man. When there's people actually in front of you and not just a number yeah. on YouTube, then that's when you're in your it's, element. It's, more, it's better, innit? Yeah. You got people coming up to you and shit, like recognising you. And, it's like a tap yeah. on the back, bro, isn't it? Yeah. Especially when you see the crowd actually engaging, going yeah, mad, yeah, bro. Yeah. It shows that you're doing something right. Yeah, trust me. You know what me, I mean, bro? Me. Now, have you faced any challenges or obstacles in your career? And if so, how did you get through them? Yeah, of course, man. My Instagram got deleted, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, two years ago. And before that, my EP got deleted, like, two days before. And then my TikTok got deleted. And then another TikTok got deleted. And then all my Snapchats just get banned. So just like trying to promote and that it's difficult because yeah. my all my things are just at risk of just being top down in one day and then just got to start it all again but made it work and that just got through it, you know what I'm saying? I respect that bro, I respect the grind yeah. and the hustle bro, you know what I mean? It shows that you're determined, yeah. constantly bringing your shit out even though you're at the risk of it getting taken down. And again. it is a bit of a kick in the teeth when that yeah, happens, I get that. Me. So respect for picking yourself back up and doing that bro. Now, what advice would you give to any of aspiring artists looking to have a career in music? Just put the dedication in, make sure your work ethic is always 100%. Stay true to yourself and just, oh, oh man, if you wanna if you wanna push someone out, make sure that it's, other people can take it in as well, not just you, do you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Because more, more people relate, will, like, it'll bring more traction to it. More people will show they can relate to it and just, yeah. Yeah, man, 100%, 100%. Now, final question, bro. Mm -hmm. What would you want your legacy to be? Like, how do you want to be remembered? I just want people to take it in, bro. It's literally just starting it. Yeah. Some people to take it in. I just want money, bro. <laughs> really. You're a pretty straightforward guy, in it? Face <laughs> yeah. value type Come of guy. On. I get that, bro. I respect, respect that. Mm -hmm. So, have you, before we close the episode, have you got anything upcoming that you'd like to tell the viewers about at home? I've got a clothing brand on the way. Mine and I, two Killies clothing brand called More Guap find it on my Instagram, his Instagram, and separate Instagram for the, for the actual brand. More music, obviously. Hopefully more shows, it just depends like what, what happens in it. And yeah, yeah man. Just stay posted to everything. Me, Precious, TMTV, MLB, everyone. Just make sure you're staying posted all the time. Yes, yeah, so we'll close the episode. Before we do that, just want to say a big thanks to Lates for coming through, bro. Couldn't yes, have done it without you. Yeah. Honestly, I look forward to watching you grow as an artist. Yeah, man. Very inspiring. So, to the guys at home, make sure you click on the like button. 
Make sure you're tuning in next week for a brand new episode. We'll have a brand new artist to show you. A big shout out to TMTV, man, for hosting the thing. Shout out to all the man them and all the gal them for tuning in. Big ups. It's in a bit.